Hey guys, Nick here from Tech 2020, and today we're going to talk about powering your cars with hydrogen. Let's get started. So, hydrogen fuel cell cars have been a technology that we all thought was decades away, but it's really right around the corner. In fact, by 2015, it is said that Korean car giant Hyundai will unveil 10,000 of their brand new iX35 fuel cell SUVs, a car whose only emission is water vapor. And with a reported fuel range of 400 miles, there will be no need to refuel until you get home at night. Now, how exactly do these cars work? Well, it begins with converting hydrogen into electricity inside of a cell, where an anode and a cathode are separated by a membrane. At the anode, the hydrogen is split into ions and the electrons flow to a battery and then to the electric motor. At the cathode, the hydrogen protons and electrons are reunited and form with oxygen to form water vapor, which is the mission of the car. Pretty interesting. In the next few years, Hyundai will be rolling out 10,000 of these iX35 SUVs every single year. ITM Power can plonk down a hydrogen refueling station literally wherever you want. So that means we won't just be getting cheaper, cleaner fuel, we'll also be able to light and heat our houses with hydrogen. So perfectly orthodox, utterly carbon neutral. You can fill it up in three minutes, like a petrol car. And how long will it run for? 300, 350 miles. And how expensive to run? On renewables, it's half the price of petrol. Really? So convincing consumers, you don't have to try and uh, talk to them about saving the planet. You just tell them it's going to cost you half the price it will yeah, cost you at the, the moment. Yeah, that's It's not just about turning water into hydrogen and oxygen. It's about the portability of it. I mean, they rocked up here in the middle of the week with a couple of small containers. They plug it in and they played. And here we have a generator unit that has now got enough juice in it to run a fleet of, say, 10 cars. And once you get to that stage, you can put it anywhere. In the end, the iX35 clocks out at 136 horsepower and a maximum speed of 100 miles per hour. In regards to price, it'll run you from anywhere between fifty to upwards of $100,000. Now, will we ever see cars like this in the near future? It's very likely, so keep your eyes peeled. And as always, thanks for watching.